Kraikonas offers free video games in exchange of crypto mining. Hey Ganesh, I hear there's another malware out there targeting pirate gaming software. What can you tell us about that? Yes, David. Um, there is a new new malware in town, basically, which tries to prey on the cracked software of re popular video games. And this has been named Krakenosh because it propagates via, you know, cracked uh, cracked popular video games. Uh, what what is the story about this one is basically uh, when this specific malware drops onto specific victims, what it does is it tries to uh, disable certain security features like security software related to Windows Defender. There were also some instances as for Avast. Avast is the one actually who did the deep dive into this specific malware and they found uh, they disabled various uh, antivirus, maybe anti-malware software to stay itself hidden under the radar. And afterwards, it kind of lures the victims by means of uh, torrented software copies in which actually it drops the various uh, malware files. I mean, there are three key files. They identified all of when typically blocks and maybe disables the Windows Defender as well as the Windows Update. So what it does is once it has, uh, once this cracked software is loaded by the gamers, you know, they want to get uh, you know, free free gamers instead of spending maybe 40, 50 bucks for a new game. So instead of giving them that free software, what they're doing is they're borrowing the uh, tremendous powers of the power geeks. You know, these gaming PCs, they are so powerful. You can you can run lots of CPU out of it. So once they got the once they got the CPU horsepower of those geeks, what they did is they kind of started mining cryptocurrency. So uh, in typical case, so what they did is I think they infected over 220,000 devices. Uh, I guess that uh, the number is from since somewhere late 2020 onwards. And the worth of the money they minted is about $2 million of worth of uh, cryptocurrency. And specifically the type of cryptocurrency they targeted is Monero Miner, which is XM rig. And I believe uh, they got about 9,000 to 10,000 uh, XMR coins, which is uh, worth about $2, two million. That's how uh, they calculated that would be the minimum amount they could have uh, mined out of it. What are the popular uh, gaming softwares that targeted? If you name it, uh, the top four are any time, you know, most popular softwares in the world. That The Sims 4, Grand Theft Auto, and Fallout. These are so popular. You know, instead of uh, spending uh, maybe 40, 50 bucks, they're offering the pirated versions of it. But with the free versions of the pirated, they are also taking the CPU power of it. The moral is, uh, I believe uh, we all know that there is no free lunch, right? If you're getting something too good to be true, there's something really catch here. So it's one, 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 once again, a reminder that uh, it's never a good idea to, you know, relying on pirated versions of software, maybe pirated of anything, anything uh, not rated out. It's not a good idea to have it. In this case, they, they started with the Monero mining, but uh, that kind of opens the door for other malware activity also, right? Since the system is already compromised somehow, it can be used maybe for botnets, additional botnet attacks, maybe DDoS attacks, Maybe they can be used for leveraging APT kind of attacks. So, I would like to I would like to get some thoughts on uh, what do you think about this uh, Krakenosh and its uh, lure by using the cracked software. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, that's always like you said, that's always the big thing, right? Is everyone wants you can't get something for nothing, basically. So, you know, and that's what a lot of people do. We'll try to get that pirated software, and then lo and behold, there's something in almost every case attached to a pirate piece of software. Um, you know, and just seeing time and time again where, you know, that happens, whether it's malware, a, a backdoor or anything, that, that's always the mm -hmm. risk you take. If you're gonna go that route and try to download any type of software, whether it's games or any type of software, you know, business applications, office, anything that's put out in this part of networks or servers, you know, as you know, um, is susceptible to uh, malware and rootkits or anything that's, you know, uh, malicious.
uh, just forgot to mention, the concentration of the victims here really seems to be in uh, North American region, so some parts of Brazil and South America, uh, and uh, certain parts of uh, Asia Pacific, specifically India and little bit of China. So it's a little bit well diverse, but the population is uh, where lots of, uh, I believe, internet presence is there, where the gaming population is maybe higher. So mm -hmm. it kind of uh, fits in the geographic uh, fixing there. Yeah. And then, do, you know, do you know if this is like a, a new variant, or has it been out there for a little while, this particular um, malware? Is it a, a newer version or a new piece, or just, again, maybe has it been one that's been out there and just been updated? I believe uh, if, if, I, if I read properly, I mean, the way the advanced resources explained, probably it's around since late 2020. But it came to their uh, attention. Yeah, but I think it came to their attention. I think uh, some of the users experienced some sort of error messages, like uh, uh, some maybe error software is disabled or something. Some savvy users, they could able to figure it out. They kind of reached out to Avis. They kind of digged into it. When they went into the rabbit hole, they kind of found, okay, there's something malicious going on. And when they did uh, to this, they found, you know, pirated versions of these softwares being used by these users. So by using the exchange currency, I mean, I meant to say cryptocurrency exchange currency, the number based on the number of victims, they came with the number of $2 million worth of data. Uh, I mean, money. But, but technically, it could be much, much higher uh, because of the, whatever the visibility they have. is just talking about the errors based uh, PC gaming rigs here. Probably there are other uh, AV softwares, right? Maybe Windows Defenders. If they take into those accounts, the number could be much, much higher. That would be my best guess. And then you, you did say on this too, there was some uh, like evasion techniques um, for anti-detection, uh, anti-forensics embedded also on it? Yes. Uh, they typically drop three files. Once, um, once a user, basically once a user or a victim, they download this pirated version of the software. As soon as it's on the victim, victim, victim machine, what it does is tries to drop, I think, uh, three to four, I believe maybe three, three files. Uh, they're related to basically disabling the Windows Defender slash any kind of uh, additional antivirus software and also not getting the Windows update. That means uh, technically the PC is not getting updated with the latest security patches. So that way they blocked uh, that update cycle, you know, without knowing, you know, some some might have automatic updates turned on. So those kinds of things they did it. But there are also additional techniques and tactics they include. But these are the most freak, uh, most significant ones they start with, and then uh, basically borrow the CPU power to mine the cryptocurrency. All right. So so it definitely looks like it was kind of a, a kind of a well thought out, you know, a piece of malware, right? Not just something thrown together. They actually had some. In good intentions on what they're, well, it's not good, but, you know, from their side, right, or what they had planned on doing and then, um, you know, piece that together in a structured format of, or targeted, you know, step process, how they're going to, you know, attack and, you know, uh, you know, uh, affect the software. Yep. Yeah. I mean, they, they typically followed their typical uh, antivirus, anti-malware detection techniques to hide themselves. And, but uh, in this case, that's the result in at least $2 million of worth of effort.